Dog training is a process of teaching your dog to be more human friendly. Now, there are many different types of methods and ways to train them. And it can be frustrating to try each one of them to find out which one works and which doesn't. So to make things easier for you, in this video, we will talk about the three best types of dog training methods. Also known as dominance training, this method is endorsed by the famous dog whisperer Caesar Milan. So what's it all about? Well, the alpha dog approach is basically about training your dog through a more thorough understanding of pack behaviors, which are instinctual for your furry friend. It's about teaching your dog a proper hierarchy of the family, in which you and all the other family members have a higher rank than the dog. Doing things like always going through a door before your dog, not allowing them on the furniture, and even eating before them to let them know you rank above them in the pack. This can be an excellent training method for small families, but it's not always the best if you have a large one. One of the problems of the alpha dog approach is that by reinforcing the pack structure, you have to spend a lot of time convincing your dog that they don't outrank the kids and other family members. That adds a lot of time to the training, so this method will definitely not be a perfect fit for everyone. Positive reinforcement training has impressive results, but takes the most time compared to other methods. That's because there is no punishment involved, as the approach is based on simply rewarding your dog every time they do something that you want to encourage. One problem with training methods involving punishment is that your dog can easily get confused and quickly become distrustful of you. They simply won't understand why you were mad and may even develop negative responses to specific items or locations around the house. With positive reinforcement, however, you will build positive associations by rewarding your dog for good behavior. The desire for attention and treats will make your dog naturally pay more attention to what they are doing and repeat it. If your dog does something bad, like jumping on you, then you would simply move out of reach, tell them to sit and ignore them until they do so and earn their reward treat. Keep in mind that their treat can also be a new toy or simply a good belly rub. It just has to be something that they like. This training method is a great way to teach your dog tricks and to help them adjust to your expectations. On that note, I would like to recommend you guys Pawy Magic Dog Bowl. This double-decker bowl can be used for water as well as food. You can even stack them up and elevate it to give your dog a comfortable eating angle without having to put their head all the way down to the ground. This is especially beneficial for dogs with arthritis and joint problems. It also comes with a slow feeder to help your excited dog eat more calmly. And the best thing is, it also comes with insulated water dishes that keeps the water cold. This especially helps during hot summers. And in winters, you can fill it with some warm water and it will keep the food above it warm too. Isn't it the coolest bowl? I will drop a link in the description. Do check it out. Clicker training is also based on positive reinforcement training, but takes a much more focused approach. In this training, you make a particular sound whenever your dog does something correctly, usually using a clicker. Training basically boils down to teaching your dog that the click means they are getting a treat. Once you've established this, when they do something you like, you give a quick click and give them a treat telling your dog that you liked this particular behavior. After repeating this two or three times, you can associate a specific command with that behavior. Once your dog learns a few tricks, it gets much easier to teach them even more with the help of your clicker. So this training method is a great way to streamline positive reinforcement training to get faster results and even to teach more complicated commands. If you'd like to try this one out at home, you can download any clicker app on your phone and use it. Whichever method you choose, always remember that consistency is the key. 
By the way, there are a lot of other options too. Do let me know in the comments if you want me to make a part 2 of this video reviewing other training methods. And do like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Beagle Care videos. Later!